So it's a week after the Masters, which only means one thing. Or two things, we're all sleep deprived. But of course it means it's the RBC Heritage Week at the beautiful Harbour Town Links. Harbour Town is an iconic place on the PGA Tour calendar without a doubt. If the course could talk, it would probably say, yes mate, I am the one with the lighthouse. So if you don't know this golf course at all, you're probably thinking, didn't you just say links? Why are we playing in between trees? We'll get to that point, but let's just enjoy it on the way in because these are challenging holes. Okay, bunker start. You've got to be birdie in this hole, I think, for the first. I always like courses where you do, you're do you not expected to birdie it. N not an easy hole start, because it's like, I haven't woken up yet. L let me have five holes, and then I'll start attacking. <laughs> Look how tight these are. You go from, yeah, a challenging course like Augusta with wide open fairways to, like, this. I mean, it scares me just playing it, virtually. <laughs> Don't stand there. What are they doing there? Oh, that's an accurate shape. Still nowhere near enough. I told you. Well, bird, bird. So as the title of the video suggests, I do have an apology to make. And that apology is to Scotty Scheffler. Oh, get in. Sorry, Scotty, it's going to have to hold just a sec while I hold this. It's an absolute gem. Hold on, Scotty, let me just get this eagle. I've got three put previews, I'm going to use it on this. And we're four under through three holes. So I made it, so back to the apology. I made it pretty clear that I wasn't too bothered about Scotty Scheffler winning the Masters. It's taken me a few days to realise why that would possibly be. I mean, he's done nothing to offend me. He's a very, very nice guy, it seems. I think it was just he's come from nowhere. He just came and dominated the Masters. I'm like, who are you to do this on, on my Masters? <laughs> my Masters. And it took me to the 18th hole to really, like, warm to him in regards... His bum hole fell out. He missed a few short putts at the end just to get this green jacket hit. It had many shots to play with. And I just thought, you know what? You are human. And then the chats afterwards, the interviews just made me go, you know what? I do like him. I do. Now. Oh, what is this pin? So don't expect this to be this short this week. It's not going to be. At all. It's going to play long. And we'll get to the last few holes. It will play windy. Oh. Okay. We're five under through four. Yeah. Is there is a hack still on? Yeah. Switch them off. You can tell it's a user created course because it keeps defaulting to an iron on the tee. Nah, mate. Get that banana driver out. Undulated greens at Augusta to hard, firm, very tight round here. It's definitely a wake-up call. Um, a different kind of wake-up call. And only the most accurate succeed. <laughs> Perfect timing. That's why, that's why most of these winners you'll never see at the top of the long drive charts. That is for sure. So the past winners have been C.T. Pan, Webb Simpson, Brant Snedeker, and Stuart Sink. Sorry. It's one of those courses and events where if I was on tour, I don't know if it'd be worth me playing. I think it'd make me want to quit golf, potentially, if I'm off. Oh. Seven under <laughs> through eight. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. We can have an absolute smash at everything. Oh, and at someone's forehead as well. All right. Look, they're that confident. They just didn't move. This is this is fun. This is fun. If I put this on the Team House Society, they don't expect it to be set up like this, unless this is the only option. Quite possibly is the fact that it's defaulted to this. But I've got everything usually on hard. So I don't know why. Was that in? The bunker. Yeah, it is, Al. 
Yes. You'd, you'd be pretty confident, wouldn't you, if you were nine under through nine? I'd love to get one close here. That's, that's close. That's real close. That's in. The eagle. Oh, what? Robbed. The guys will definitely struggle this week on here. So I'm going to apologise twice then. I'm going to apologise to Scotty. I'm going to apologise to you guys that were on the front parts. I'm not really sorry. I'm sorry about that. So I've missed it. But the 13th hole, there's a story because Pete Dye created this course. Usually has no problems with creating, imagining the layout of the course. But 13th, he had a bit of a mental block and was like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So Pete's wife decided to draw on a napkin a dog leg. Hence where... The 13th hole was born, the dog leg on the 13th. And that is not the only hole in the world where that happened. Mrs. Dye also did it on a napkin to create the 17th at Sawgrass. But it's just beautiful. I'd love to play this. Obviously located on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. I will be heading that way at some point. Banana drive. Oh, no. blocked it. That's going to be okay, but it's not going to be close. Looks like feet. I can't see anything because of this grandstand and that bloke's pair of jeans. It's soft now. What? You need to not be able to see more often. That was a peach. Well, this is an odd play. Not sure about that one. Right, so as you can see now behind, we've got a bit of aqua. Oh, I dropped one. It looks a bit like the Everglades a bit, don't it? With this section here. Well, this is where now the wind hits you in the face, like, welcome, you're on a Lynx course, remember that. And then this last hole, of course, is... Really the reason why it got its name. Obviously the location of the course, it could be parkland all the way through. As long as it's next to the ocean, it can be classed and deemed as a Lynx course. Where's the lighthouse? Hey, there you go, look. Hello. We'll get a better view when I call this. A view of the lighthouse now, look, there we go. We ended up 13 under that. It kind of went a bit sour. We switched those hacks off. 14. 14 under. I might leave it at that because that was fun. Like I say, it was just nice to have a round of golf that wasn't a slog fest. Well, that guy just stood up for us. Thanks, mate, in the red. That's lovely. So, guys, thank you as always for watching. It's no doubt going to be a very, very exciting week. It always is at Harbour Town. Remember, if you want to play in these events. Dude. Remember if you want to play in these events, Team Owl Society on Xbox and PC. I've just had a limit thing come up and say you've, you can only have 55 events a season. If anyone knows anything about that, please stick it in the comment section because I didn't realise there was a season maximum. Because you see many doing loads of events, but anyway, odd. But that doesn't matter, we'll get to the bottom of that. Remember guys, yeah, come and join us on the Team Owl Society's Xbox and PC. And as always, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you enjoy the content. Thank you.